And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2017 Japan K1 Super Bantamweight World Championship Tournament at the Yogi National Gymnasium in the second arena. We've got 4,800 screaming fans ready for this next bout to kick off. In the red corner, Namito Izawa taking on, in the blue, Yuya Suzuki. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. Let's, let's see what happens in the ring tonight. We have a good uh, reserve match here. That's right, some reserve action in the tournament. Real interesting style from Namito Izawa. Um, big time leg kicker, uses a conventional low kick as well as his heel to sort of chop oh. away a Kyokushin style karate technique. Interesting. Let's see if Yuya can defend himself from that interesting kind of kick. Yeah, and in fact, um, Izawa in the red, uh, a majority of his attacks come from his lower body. So it's really interesting, to, you know, stylistically to watch him. He'll throw some punches, but uh, it's always a setup it's a big to kicker. the leg. Yeah. Whereas Suzuki, a bit more conventional um, kickboxing style. Good punches. There. Wow. You see him flashing the. The heel out there, chopping away with that mm -hmm. that kick, it's really unique. Hard to train for something like that, too. You can't really yeah. check that. No, no. And if it hits in the right spot, it's going to hurt. Yeah, and he just, Izawa sticks to his game plan. Um, he'll put his guard up, he'll eat punches like he did there, but he'll trade for that, that shot. Either the snap and low kick or mm -hmm. drop the heel. Ooh, yeah. Really getting in there with that lead leg. Yeah, he throws, he can throw it from all Whoa. sorts of different ranges. Wow. He knows his strength. He's not a not a big puncher. Throws some stiff, good shots, but mm. sticks to his strategy, which is really interesting. Slip there by Zawa. Yeah. And you can see Suzuki looking good with the punches, yeah. but he's his rhythm is a little bit broken. Mm -hmm. He just looks a little uncomfortable because he's got to deal with this unorthodox low attack yeah. from Izawa. Yeah, definitely eating a lot of kicks, and they're gonna add up. Yeah, and there Izawa going to the other side and back to that front leg. Mm. Good hands, though, by Suzuki. Mm. Yeah, sticking the left hook there, literally turning Izawa's face to the side, snapping the chin. And one minute here in the first round. And these guys have not taken a breather at all or clinched once. No, no, this is a great matchup. You can tell it's, uh, you can judge by the action in the reserve match in the tournament how the rest of the tournament's gonna play out. This will totally be a banging tournament. Oh, yeah. Because this is a good match right here. Yeah, high, yeah, it's high octane reserve match in the first round. We have uh, Suzuki, the puncher, versus Izawa, the low kicker. And you can see Suzuki too, that, that lead leg is already bugging him, man. He's throwing good punches, probably wishing they were doing more damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, ouch, ouch. Ooh, that it's does mean. not feel nice, that man. That is mean. That does not feel nice. Yeah, he snaps that thing. It's yeah. just a very unique style. Ooh, I do an axe kick or something from Suzuki. Yep. But uh, it didn't land. He's now a slice Ooh. underneath. Wow, man, that kick is very interesting. Let's see what will happen uh, in this second round because sit, if uh, Suzuki sits down, that uh, those uh, kicks might uh, start to work like a venom. They will settle in, yes, exactly. Slowly, and each round, it's just gonna continue to get worse. These stylistic matchups like here are so fun to watch. You get a conventional kickboxer, Suzuki, taking on really unorthodox guy in Izawa. Um, and you get to see who can make their uh, skill set mm -hmm. work for them. Yeah. Who can control the range. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always fun to watch. You know, it's always fun to watch K1. But yeah, as you said, you know, seeing these two different styles and see which, which fighter uh, is able to, to utilize you know, their, their, their hard work, their training, their knowledge, mm -hmm. uh, to see who comes up, comes up on top. Yep. Exactly. There's there's a lot more going on here than just physicality. There's a lot oh, of yeah. strategy and experience. 
I'm really impressed that there has not. I think it's only like maybe one clinch in that first round yeah. that I that I that I can remember that I can recall, um, which is what I love to see. I just uh, you know these guys know what they have to get done. <laughs> They're trying to do it. Real, real busy. Both of these guys throwing yeah. a ton of strikes. Izawa just lifts his guard, forearms Ooh. like two shields, marches forward and just chopping on that leg. Ooh, man. Could not be comfortable for Suzuki. Suzuki. And the thing is, he's got to plant the lead leg a bit to yes. punch. So yeah. every time he uses his attack, his main attack, which is going to be his punches, he's opening himself up to mm -hmm. Izawa's um, low kicks, yeah. ankle um, shots with the heel. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Yeah, I can imagine, oh, you know, the K1 Brass comes to you and says, hey, your next opponent's Namito Izawa. Oh, man. You probably go, oh, man. You're going to have some trauma. You're going to have some leg. Your legs are going to start twitching. Yeah, I, mean, I don't want to fight that guy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and that's, yeah, I mean, getting a good needy leg kick just sucks. Man. Yeah. Right yeah. right on the right on the, the outer thigh. Oh, you know, man. it's the worst feeling. It's kind of sickening. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like getting kicked somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's the, uh, the testicle uh, outside the testicle. Yeah. And, <laughs> and this guy is just zeroing in on, uh, on Suzuki's uh, lead left leg. Yeah, ab absolutely. Every time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. How do, you, how do you score this too? Ooh, good knee. Yeah, good knee. Suzuki is landing clean punches. Mm -hmm. Is the damage how? Yeah, which you know are the head shots better? Are the leg shots better? It's up to the, the judges mm -hmm. to decide yeah. that. In my opinion, Suzuki looks like he's really feeling that lead leg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just really big kicks. Yeah, he does a great job of um, you know just getting inside, trusting his guard. And blasting mm. away with the, with the heel and the shin. Well, and Suzuki's doing a good job too. He's he's punching and they're landing. Yeah. Ah, but this is just a great a great way to counter that attack oh, yeah. from Izawa. Ah, oh, man. Bringing the leg up there finally to to guard himself. Hmm. That, that heel. I don't. I'm, is there a name? Do you know a name for that kick? I, well, I, it's a it's a Kyokushin style kick that I know. Um, my uh, my boss at work uh, was a former Shin Kyokushin competitor. Hey. He told me, I believe it was um, a fighter from Belarus, perhaps, okay. or one of the Eastern Bloc countries that made it popular. Wow. Valeria or Valera, perhaps. Okay. Um, but he used it a lot, and it just got really popular because in Kyokushin, they fight at a real really close range. Distance, yeah. Yeah. And you can use that. He's using it really well right yeah. here. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been able to adapt it to, to this day. K1 style, uh, you see the yeah. kickbox and K1 style. He just locks his guard in, and in that close range, he can't be clinched. So he can just let that mm -hmm, thing go. Mm -hmm. Crafty, crafty move there. Yeah. Um, yeah, something new. Mm -hmm. you know. Indeed, very unique style. Yeah, I mean, you know, you want to see a good fight. You want to see, you know, two guys duke it out. But as you said, you know, these, these guys' styles are also so different too, so it just adds a bit, a bit of flavor to watching, you know, a great competition. And just seeing that kick and seeing how he's letting it, yeah, like right there, yeah. boom. Ooh. And this, it becomes like a jab, you know, it's a, it's a part of his, his fighting repertoire, you know? Yeah, well, and Suzuki is having to worry about that thing now. He just can't commit as much weight to his punches. Mm -hmm. He's still getting hit, but he can't punch Sing hard out, enough to really out. deter Izawa. Yeah. Yeah. Great strategy. Yeah. But I think in order to do Izawa's style, you really have to be able to take a hit. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. no yeah. doubt. He's eating some shots. They fought is looking fresh as ever here in this third round of this reserve match. <clears throat> yeah, well, it, it's, you know, it's hard to say who who's going to be ahead on the oh, judges' yeah. scorecards mm -hmm. here. Kind of what, what flavor of fighting are you into? Yeah. They're working out of the clinch. Yeah, yeah, really good. Yeah, I really like. Ooh, 
Wow, okay. two big, big yeah. shots. Those were very Suzuki. big yeah. shots the judges are going to see there landing from Suzuki. Yeah, he's trying to create, I think, I think Suzuki has kind of figured out what he wants to do now. He wants, he wants to get him kind of a mid-range and just, yeah, just kind of keep him at bay. The thing this is, land. if he's able to use a jab and a front kick, he can upset the round, the round kick in those attacks. Yes, exactly. A yeah. front kick will win in that battle. Yeah. With a few jabs, when Izawa steps in, oh. that kick, he's got a front kick him, but he's Izawa's so crafty with it, he throws it from different angles. Yep, yep. At odd times and at odd distances you wouldn't expect. Mm -hmm. He's really accurate with yeah. his heel, man. <laughs> The Kyokushin <laughs> style going on yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, Suzuki hey. probably wasn't hoping for a match like this, but he's been forced into this yeah. sort of dogfight mm -hmm. here with Izawa. Well, these guys, man, this has been the most active fight I've seen in a while. Yeah. These guys are just, just nonstop. Really very little tension here. They're fighting out of the clinch. It's a very strict referee here. Yeah. We have a minute 24, 23 left in this third and possible final round. I wouldn't be surprised to see this going the next round if nothing big happens. No, you're right. Um, yeah, both guys, man, uh, just really just going at it, using everything. Some good knees by, by Suzuki in this fight. Yeah. Ooh, but Izawa returns the knee himself. Mm, we're giving Izawa a lot of credit um, for his chin. Got to give Suzuki... Uh, a lot of credit for withstanding this barrage of leg kicks yeah, yeah. and attacks in the lower body. He's a tough guy, man. Very tough. A lot of fighters will drop from the work that Zawa was doing mm -hmm. downstairs. Yeah. Well, I, man, I, I am sure that if I got one of those heel kicks, man, I'd, 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 be, I'd be done for the day. Oh, it's just miserable, man. <laughs> Suzuki is just eating them like a box of chocolate chip cookies, man. Oh, man, Zawa feeling himself. Yep. <laughs> Both of these guys know there's 30 seconds left in the third round. It's been a close fight. Someone's got to break away real cleanly here. Like you said, we might see an extension around. Ooh, good low kick. Oh! Yeah. A little oh. more conventional style here from Zawa, letting the hands end. This is great for him, too, you know. Yeah. Sh Should have mixed a little bit more of this in there earlier. Ooh, the hammer punch came out in there. I don't know if that was intentional or not. No. Well, it looks like Izawa might be pulling away. Looking really good here in the last few seconds of this round, no doubt. Oh, big, big, big low kick. Yeah. Not a down, but a nice low kick. I, I think Izawa might, yeah. might that was great, take it away in this reserve match. <laughs> Suzuki's legs, <laughs> getting his trainer to pick him up there. Needing it, maybe going to need a wheelchair out to oh, get out of man, the building. Yeah. His legs have to be crushed. Wow. These guys, man, these guys are next level. These guys must have thrown like a million punches. <laughs> yeah, it's a great <laughs> outfit. Well, yeah, he's out with the probably a record number of low kicks. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, definitely. Suzuki just letting his hands go. They're not bleeding or anything. These, these guys are cut out of a different cloth. Just internally. Judge Toyonaga, 29 対 29, draw. Judge Nagata, 29 対 29, draw. Oh, going to this one. Yeah, going to this one. Yeah, going to this one. Yeah, going to this one. Let's see, I think, in order for, uh, you know, uh, Izawa has the upper hand. He did win, he did win one, uh, one uh, Round, but, yeah, um, yeah, yes. Um, yeah, let's see if Yuya you know, can do it. I think Yuya is really gonna have to. to uh, so I got I distracted for a minute. Um, <laughs> I think uh, Yuya is gonna really have to just throw, land some big, big punches. His front kick was working, his, and his hook was working. Mm. And I think if he could really just put a little stank on it, he might, he might rock. He did rock. Mm -hmm. uh, Izawa, uh, I think, was in the, in the third round. He got two nice, nice, two, two nice punches. Yeah, you're just right. Maintain that. Um, 
in this third round. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, exactly. You're right. He did have some great shots there at the end. And he's now I had that uh, he had a barrage dash yeah. at the yeah. end as well. Yeah, we'll see how Suzuki's uh, legs are holding up here. Yeah. He's now starting it off with a big front kick of his oh, own. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, a snappy kick, man. That must hurt so bad. Looks like he's got his second win, man. Yeah. He's ripping that thing in there. He has Suzuki here on the back foot. Mm -hmm. You know, lending out some really good punches too, man. But, mm -hmm. but um, oh, there he goes. There he goes. You know, some really excellent combos for a, a fourth round. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's, both these guys know what's on the line. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the frustration they're going on uh, from Suzuki. Well, their styles are just yin and yang. Yeah, oh, definitely. Excellent analogy. Right I, I, I really like uh, Yuya's hands, man. Very just tight punches, but maybe not powerful enough to, to do the damage that they need. A little, bit, a little bit of work there in the clinch, getting separated. Yeah. Oh, man, Zawa not stop it. Ooh, there he goes with some big, big blows. Yeah, I'd like to see Zawa um, use some more sort of conventional combination mm -hmm. work here. When you let it go at the end of the third round, he was one, doing two, it. Three, yeah, he was doing it. Great. Ooh, he got blow. Willing for having thrown so many low kicks, um, <laughs> you know, it's it's crazy. This is the only low blow this round. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think uh, Suzuki is wearing the first. Giraffe print trunks I've seen. Yep. That's not leopard. No, no, that's uh, it is not. I guess that is giraffe. <laughs> it's funny because in K1 you will see some of the fanciest shorts yeah, outside, outside of Venice Beach. <laughs> you have it. We have a minute, a little over a minute left here in this final uh, uh, extra round, and both fighters have not let up their, 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 their pace. I mean, this is going to be a hard call for the judge. Ooh, yeah, nice, yeah. Nice Great knee. knee. Nice attack from below. That's the thing is they're both really holding their ground and sticking with their tax, attacks and their strategies. You can't visibly see an either guy breaking, really. Suzuki just a little bit more on the back foot, yeah, but yeah. he's punching as he's stepping Yeah, back. yeah, yeah. He's not retreating. Really tough. Yeah. So close, man. Razor thin. The way these guys are hanging in there. Well, this is this is a reserve match to yeah. make it into the tourney. It's, yeah, yeah. You could potentially have you know have to fight later on. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, man, I would not want to be either of these guys. Okay, they're gonna get a little bit of a warning. Okay, a little separation. Here we go. Oh, nice kick, man. You don't see that every day. Just great attacks from the lower body of Zhao in this fight. Ooh. Looks like Izawa might, Izawa's stamina might be just eking out yep. above uh, Suzuki's. Breaking away just slightly. Still, I mean, overall, it's super close round. Wow, what a fight. What is it, what are you man? Well, this is, this is one of those moments when you're just, yeah, I just go, I'm glad I'm not a judge. I'm yeah. glad I'm not having to make the call on this one. Um, yeah, really, really tough. It'd be really interesting to see some stats on kicks and punches. Yeah, it would. Because they'll be off the charts, man. Both these guys. Wow, some really good combos. Yep. But they, they don't really have that. They're not doing the damage that they need. No, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable how he's taking all those shots. Now, yeah, the one judge really likes Izawa. There you have it. E combine. Yuta right. and Hei. Hats off, man. To both fighters. Yeah. yeah. No doubt, man. I mean, awesome style yeah. from both guys. I, I love that uh, Izawa brings the game plan that he does to the ring. It's great to have a guy in the ranks that fights that way. Yeah. Just so interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah, not the type of fight you want to have in what could potentially be your first round yeah, of the yeah, tournament. First round, yeah, with three more possible fights to go. We'll see. We'll see if uh, either of them, want, or if Izawa winds up being placed in the tournament at some point. But just, yeah, great fight to start things off in the evening. Well, there you have it. At the K1 World Grand Prix 2017 in Japan, K1 Super Bantamweight World Championship Tournament at Yogi National Gymnasium in the second arena. See you next time.